All right, Master Shredder, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good? Once again, that's good money. Train different, gain different, Master Shredder. Today, we're going to give y'all the 10 best calisthenics exercises for you. These is the 10 best exercises that's going to get you the gains you want. If you feel like you're not seeing the results you need, add these 10 in. And you're going to get what you need, all right? So on the pull-up bar, we're going to start here on the pull-up bar. I like these. These is like a variation of pull-ups. The unicorns. As you can right. see, it's like Pulling is, is important. I feel like there's more pushing type of exercises for you in, in just working out in general. So we gotta be balanced. It's, that, that's a different type of movement. You got push and then you got pull. So this is a different type of pull. You, you, you engage in the biceps like the more of the outer part, more so, when you hit that. And the forearms as well is getting more engaged too. To those more so you isolating those muscles and you're using some of the, the serratus too in your upper back as well like your serratus to stabilize at that area okay. so yeah that's why I like those those is one of, I feel like those is a top one that gives you the results that you want hits muscles that's not as easy to hit people always ask how to hit the biceps and the forearms doing calisthenics that's one right there. That's why that's in my top. Another one is a different, another type of pull up. Now, like you see, shout out to Hannibal, living legend. He told y'all you could hit the, you could do chest by hitting pull ups. And that's true. You see, when I put my chest, closer I put my chest together, you see, you see what's happening? right so now when i go on the bar shout out to um lord vital as well too he showed me this one keep your chest keep your arms locked and then go up that right there I know you see the difference just on that set alone for a hard place to hit in the chest that inner chest you want to hit that part and then the biceps as well the squeeze that I'm getting on those is crazy just from that alone it feels like I did like 50 push-ups because it's, I'm hitting the, I'm pulling hitting my chest the chest is used to getting hit by by pushing so I'm squeezing with the pull it's all about the squeeze Right. Also, you got some core activation. Core you keep activation. That, keep your legs up. Yeah, keep your, you could keep your legs up. I would prefer to keep it up, keep mm -hmm. it up or straight, so mm -hmm. you can get that core activation. You make everything. Once the core is activated, everything else is activated even more, tighter. All right. So now, one of my favorites to attack. One of my favorite ways, I should say, in attacking abs is on the bar. So we got toe touches. Try to keep my legs as straight as possible. Very effective ab exercise when you're hitting a bar. Like those, I put those in my top 10 because not only, it's giving me a stretch on my chest, my lats, my arms, shoulders, everything. So that stretch and that iso hold, the isometric hold that's happening for me holding myself up 
it's making me stronger as well too so that's why it's good to do like core on the bar all right so i got another one another abs for the bar put in my top 10. okay all these kickouts that right there I don't do tricks but for those of y'all who like to do tricks that's <laughs> gonna help you with your front level and like help you do any other type of trick and stuff you want to do you know, you want to pop your, your booty on a handstand like y'all like doing out there. <laughs> That'll help you, man. But I ain't in all of that. Yeah. All right, but that's good for your core. Um, your, your back as well, too. Lower back as well. Legs as well, too. Like your quads. Because that load up, you loading up on the quads on that. And on the extension, you hitting the hamstrings on those. So that's like a, another multifaceted workout or exercise that's what I like to do that train different gain different only the best okay so now we're gonna hit the floor game hit the floor game you see me do these before but this is a little bit different by variation pike push-ups but we're gonna do them archer style I like the archer style because it's like the like you could say multi-faceted like I said and unilateral workout so when you say uni that's one so you put in a lot of pressure on that one muscle or muscle group or that one tendon so get a little wide wide enough get in our stance Pressure right there, that's what you want to really build that type of movement on my shoulder. I'm getting the stretch each time I go out to, and then when I push off, that's just raw power that I'm like inherited, right? And well, we got another one for the floor, okay? Another one for the floor, the Mike Tyson push ups, but these is different. You know the king of diamonds had to come through and throw some diamonds up in this bitch. So we're gonna do the Mike Tyson's with the diamonds. That's one of my favorites right there. Shout out to the Brooklyn Brawler himself, Brownsville. Salute, Mike Tyson. But we do the diamonds in those. Those is different. Those is definitely gonna activate a lot. Multifaceted workout, legs, core, arms, shoulders, chest. You get a, a lot in there with that. Now, on the um the dip bar i like these right here because using your core and it's like an explosive thing too so a lot of these workouts is dealing with power explosiveness and, and strength what you want to build what you want to use when you build in your body with just your body weight and calisthenics when you've got weights and all the gizmos so these is elbow dips Start right there and up. Right back. Whew, I love it. 
love dips. One of my favorite things to do. So any variation of those, I'm gonna be a fan of. They're gonna hit your body and hit your chest, I should say, and your um, triceps, shoulders, back. Well, these ones is total body. From the L sit that I do, hitting my legs, core, everything's gonna hit on those. Now these is seated L sit pull-ups. You can't get to a pull-up bar. Neutral grip. Out, keeping our core and everything activated. Just going up, controlling. biceps again, core, back, everything get activated. Now we're gonna do... That's eight already, right? Yeah, that's eight. Two more. Two more. For the legs now, can't forget about the legs. Can't forget about the foundation. So we're gonna go explosive. Box jumps. This is very effective, okay? So jump. Lance off, squat, right back up. Don't go all the way up on the squat. Keep the tension. Up, keep that tension. Right when you land, go right back up. That's a box jump. So it's a box jump mixed with a squat combination. Box jump, squat. Now we're gonna finish off with some more explosion. Cause when you not using weights and stuff, you really have to hit the muscles hard. To really get it to wake up and activate. So the explosive workouts is a good way to do it besides isometrics need to do both of those besides regular reps. One legged squat, power squat, jump. Good for your calves, good for your quads. Make sure you hit the other side too. You don't want to have one leg bigger than the other. Right. That's the 10 best calisthenics exercise right there. Head to toe, you can hit your body. That's just the 10 best ones we got for y'all today. And yeah, that's 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 what this, these I do. These make no mistake about it. I built my body with these type of workouts, and I'm gonna continue to do them. Okay, good looking out for this is Shredder's top 10 best calisthenic exercises. That's right. And if you want some, uh, you want to learn more. About these exercises, hit him up one chance in a million for a consultation and get that training going with him. Really don't. Also, he got the meal plans. And, um, yep, got the merch too. Got the merch too. Consultations. Got the merch too. Yep. Consultations. Also, um, subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's right. Got Master the merch. Shredder. Trade different, gain different. Trade different, gain different. Got yep. some work for y'all, so make sure y'all stay in tune. Like I said, hit the email, one chance in a million at gmail.com. And I can always say, if you're not into it and you're just a fan of the work, you want to support, hit the cash app, dollar sign M Shredder, and PayPal, one chance in a million, gmail.com. And yeah, just stay in the loop. Got more for y'all. All right, good looking out, Shredder. More to come from my man, Shredder.
Peace.